Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. I hope you're well Scorpio. I thought I would do these readings earlier, uh, a couple of days earlier because we've got Easter coming so it makes sense to do it a little bit early for everybody. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Scorpios please? Message for Scorpio message for our lovely Scorpios 5th to the 11th of April 2021 oh nice <laughs> love this card any negativity that you have experienced this is about rising in your own true colors whenever I see this and the dragon is a power energy um absolutely beautiful card isn't it it, it just feels like you're absolutely connecting back with you feeling all the spectrum of of colors that make up you um, there's definitely this energy of releasing negativity overcoming negativity with the rainbow dragon and just being empowered and feeling empowered and feeling good okay what do we have for scorpio please certainly that's what i'm feeling what do we have for scorpio please angels spirits guides message for scorpio yeah yeah, well, the angels are saying the same thing. No need to worry, Scorpio. So it feels really positive, this energy. Okay, I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify, go deeper into the message, you know by now. And it, was, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, Scorpio, as always. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. I love the energy already. Message for Scorpio. Yeah, I swear when I'm looking at that card, it looks like it's moving. <laughs> Whether it's an optical illusion or not, but you know, I'm kind of glancing at it. It looks like it's moving. <laughs> It's almost 3D. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands in the challenge position, Scorpio. King of Swords. Page of Cups. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Message for Scorpio. Okay, can we clarify the cards on the table for Scorpio? 5th to the 11th of April 2021, thank you. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Message for Scorpio, thank you. The Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, it's clarified by King of Pentacles, Taurus for me as a reader, male or female energy, and we have the Hermit. Okay, Scorpio, it feels in this I'm getting the energy here of um it definitely feels in this way. I'm just getting loads of information. So there's an energy here. I mean the four of wands is generally the happy home. It feels in this situation, there's, there's some kind of conflict or disharmony. And it feels in terms of the home family relationship. And it's interesting because the Ace of Swords is generally about clarity, um, full mental clarity, understanding how to move forward. 
uh, the victory, the success, the sword of truth. You know, I mean, it can be to do with some truth that's come out. It might have caused some disharmony, conflict. I mean, sometimes that sword can cut straight through the middle of that, this card. So it, it feels in this situation something's happened in terms of a relationship or to do with a home. Um, you know, that could be children, that could be your relationship. But something's definitely hurt you deeply. Let's clarify this King of Swords. As the advice from Spirit, please. Let's clarify this King of Swords for Scorpio. Thank you. So the King of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. It feels like the King of Swords can be about getting clarity on working through a situation. It's interesting. I'm wondering whether it's money and career here. If there hasn't been, I mean, it feels like something has challenged your relationship, but it could well be money and career. Let's clarify this four of wands in the challenge position. Yeah, oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's five of... Five of Pentacles is financial lack, instability, changes in your financial circumstances for the worst. I mean, this can be about job losses, changes in your business career. And it generally is about being challenged in terms of money, not having enough, feeling the lack, cast out in the cold. So it definitely feels in this situation here, Scorpio, it feels like your home, your family, your relationship has been hit by financial difficulty you know and this is a challenge in itself normally in the challenge position it can be um it can signify some kind of and it's interesting because now we have the ace of swords which is some kind of victory coming it's just that you're not seeing it yet um but this is a card of victory and success claiming your crown back your crown of honor power uh, success over this loss, this feeling of lack in terms of money, career, finances. And it can be an energy of begrudging other people, the Five of Pentacles, you know, this energy of they're fine and I'm not, you know. It can be my boss is fine or my colleagues are fine and I'm not, I've been cast out. I'm the one who's been, who's going through this, you know, and it, it feels in this energy that's the situation. Either maybe some changes in terms of your it could be your contract, your financial financial uh, pay, or it can be to do with loss. But there's a message, certainly in the challenge position, of of recovery. There's some recovery coming to you, financial recovery. Yeah. Now it's interesting because some of you, I mean, it feels it feels quite tough energy here, Scorpio, because the Ten of Swords is a card of being betrayed, stabbed in the back. And, you know, it, it feels like you were, I mean, the hand of God, the divine is giving you this sort of truth. So the universe certainly recognizes the truth of this situation. It might be some truth is coming to light here on this situation as well here, Scorpio. I mean, this can sometimes be the law energy. Um, There's definitely an energy of trying to work hard and get back on your feet. Um, there's absolutely an energy of being noticed, recognised with the, with the Eight of Pentacles, material gain as well. So through hard work, dedication, feels a little bit of the mundane, Groundhog Day, doing a lot of work every day. It's like a constant treadmill. It's something that you're good at. It's something that you're excelling in. It will bring material gain, but it is small steps bring giant leaps. It's that energy of just something that has taken a lot of time and energy, but you are going to bring material gain into it. Now, you might have some kind of third party helping you. Um, for example, it could be a business advisor or financial advisor or somebody who is helping point you in the right direction or is instrumental in bringing some material gain to your door. Like I said, some kind of third party intermediary uh, could be a recruiter, business advisor, consultant, 
I mean, you, you kind of get what I'm saying here. It feels somebody is involved in bringing material gain back into your life because they, they, in a way, they see that something wasn't fair. I mean, this is somebody, male or female energy, somebody who stands up for right and truth. Um, so I definitely get a sense of somebody helping you. Now, if there's not somebody here, then this is about you putting a plan into action and just working really hard to a plan to bring greater material gain into your life. And there's definitely an energy of it's going to, you know, the spirit is saying there's material gain here. Yeah. Because it feels in this situation, we've got the hermit, which is an energy of healing, finding answers from within um, in order to take action in your external environment. But it's also an energy of raising your vibration from within the hermit energy. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify this hermit. There is somebody potentially in business who is offering you something. I feel... You know, the Page of Cups can be an opportunity that brings you joy. Yes, it can be in terms of love. Yes, it can be in terms of um, creative opportunities as well. But it feels there's the possibility of something great here. So things are beginning to lock up. And I feel it's to do with this King of Pentacles. Yeah. An offer. So there is definitely an energy here. I mean, certainly with the with the Hermit and the Knight of Wands, this is about you will soon have the opportunity. Something is going to happen that will get you back to where you were. And interestingly enough, that's definitely what I was getting with this card when I first saw it. Shining in your true colours again, healing restored. Any negativity that you've experienced, this is about being empowered again and really opening up to embrace all the spectrum of colours that are you. And it feels in this situation, that's what you are going to be. I mean, this is fire, fire on fire energy, so it ties in perfectly with the rainbow dragon. Uh, trailblazing energy, an energy of being all fired up and taking action and absolutely going for something now. An interest in the Knight of Wands is somebody who leaves difficult situations behind. They put it behind them. They're not interested. So it can also be some kind of opportunity that's bringing change. And that's part of the healing. But it feels in this situation, things are about to look up. And it's to do with what this King of Pentacles is offering you. It feels like you're being noticed, recognised for what you do. And there's, de I mean, I'm definitely feeling somebody. I was definitely feeling somebody around you here, Scorpio, who doesn't feel it was fair how you were treated in a situation. And they're helping you find material gain. Um, like I said, I mean, that could be a consultant, that could be in terms of education, that could be in terms of learning a new trade, getting a new skill, getting a qualification um, in order, you know, it feels like there's a lot of hard work that's been done in order to bring this material gain in. But that is definitely what's happening here. And things are about to look up. I mean, the page of cups is things are about to look up. I definitely see in this energy the the king of pentacles is a card of success. It, he represents stability and security. So if this is you, male or female energy, there is an energy of being back in your power financially, materially, um, career-wise, you know, very, very good energy. Um, but again, there could be a king of pentacles, potentially a Taurus, offering you something. And it feels it's coming in, most definitely. I mean, there, it feels like there is some opportunity that is bringing change. But yeah, so the, you're being told, even though I know it, it seems a lot of hard work, it's not going in vain, in vain, I should say, no need to worry, because you will shine in your true colours once more. And yeah, it feels very empowered here. And again, this is about restoring stability to all aspects of your life, including your home, your family, your relationships. Um, He's a great card of material success, security. 
wealth. Very nice energy. I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message for Scorpio, please? Any other message for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, something certainly wasn't fair here, Scorpio, because I have the card of instability and I have the card of stability here. Um, you've been through an... Uns yeah, you're healing from it. You're healing from whatever this devil was. I mean, it feels... You know, it feels in this situation, if there's been challenging relationships then you're going to get back on track. But it feels more to do with money and career affecting your relationship. Because there can be a, mater a materialistic need to that. And look, I've got liberating from the devil. Liberating from the devil. So, I mean, you know, this can be about feeling powerless in a situation. Um, it can be a person, the devil. And I'm feeling some of you haven't been treated fairly. That's for sure. Um... But you're breaking free of it. I mean, that's the beautiful energy, you know. Uranus trumps Saturn here. So there's definitely an energy of uh, breaking free of an attachment that has been difficult to break free from. Either a situation that has been unstable, that has caused deep instability, or it can be, you know, from a, it could be from a person. But there's definitely liberation here. Yeah, and new paths unfolding, and I feel it's to do with this. Things are about to look up. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you oh, I need to pull a final card. <laughs> so absorbed in the reading. Okay, what do we have as a final message for Scorpio? Two cards. Yeah. <laughs> There's hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Interesting. There is hope. And we have lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's definitely the energy I'm getting in this reading. Um, thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us realize... She can help us find things we never even realize were lost. I'm definitely getting this energy, Scorpio. Whatever this is for you, there's an energy of stability and security, material success coming back. I mean, certainly in terms of relationships, there's healing as well. And putting a difficult situation behind you and getting stability back on track as well, if that resonates for you. But one thing's for sure, there is absolutely no doubt that you are being empowered this week. Uh, being asked to shine in your true colours and recognise your true power um, because the devil is that illusion, you know, and as soon as you recognise that, that he actually has no power over you, that whatever this betrayal or deep hurt, deep wounds have been, it has no power over you. You have an opportunity to release from it now. Everything begins to change. And absolutely from the angels, you're being told there's absolutely no need to worry lovely energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you